Hi, welcome to Daniel's Money Shots. Uh, Bite-sized and easily swallowed a bits of information about comics and movies. Uh, today, with the upcoming release of Black Panther, we're going to talk about a key feature of Black Panther and Wakanda, which is the vibranium metal. Uh, now, what you need to know about vibranium is that it's a fictional anti-metal, uh, which one of its properties means that uh, when you get vibranium next to normal metal, it will slowly dissolve anything else that's metallic. Um, the origin of vibranium is the a meteorite that fell in the Marvel Universe about 10,000 years in the Marvel's past, uh, and it gives Wakanda about 98% of the uh, worldwide supply of There are three types of vibranium in the Marvel Universe, the Antarctic variety, the artificial variety, and the Wakandan variety. Uh, the Wakandan variety is going to be the most important uh, key feature of the Black Panther movie as well as the villain Claw. Um, there are several different properties for this vibranium that you'll need to know. The big one is that vibranium is capable of absorbing vibrations um, and dissipating them. Uh, you can see that in Captain America's shield, which is a vibranium and adamantium mix. Um, basically, this is how Captain America can block Thor's hammer and not break his entire arm. Um, there are several other interesting things about vibranium. Um, it can be used as a mutagen, which happens in, through the Wakandan populace, and, and it actually infects the food that the Wakandans eat. Um, this gives them superhuman powers, um, uh, super strength and super agility, for example, for T'Challa. Um, vibranium is also radioactive and can cause a lot of problems associated with radiation. Now, one of the interesting things regarding uh, Captain America's shield, which you'll note is what I said is made out of vibranium, the adamantium is not immune to the vibra vibranium's anti-metal properties, it's just resistant. So there's actually a scene in the comics when uh, Captain America's shield breaks and it releases a shockwave of energy that destroys vibranium. And this is because that the bonds between the vibranium and the adamantium and the shield slowly decay over time as the shield absorbs vibrations. Um, this basically released a small nuclear shock wave that only affected vibranium in the storylines. Um, very interesting that we may see um, not the exact same thing, but a similar plot line in the Black Panther movie. Another interesting thing is that the focus, uh, vibranium has been used as a focus for mystical uh, energies, uh, which could bring us back into Doctor Strange's world um, with the upcoming Infinity War. Um, another interesting thing regarding um, vibranium is that while we call it a fictional metal, it is not entirely non-fiction either. There's actually a real-world vibranium that this, uh, has been named after this material. Uh, the real world vibranium is actually a composite alloy material uh, that's considered a smart material. It's lightweight, combat ready, and 10 times the strength of steel, as well as the smart materials inside allow it to transmit wirelessly information like integrity and, and temperature. Um, and that has been your Daniel's Money Shot on Vibranium. Please enjoy Black Panther.